Hi there, in this little video I'm going to explain you how to use the spawn class within the Moose framework to dynamically spawn uh, ground forces AI within your mission and dynamically randomize the route that that AI is following. For this demonstration I've created this little test mission. Spawn vehicle 1 will be spawned uh, in multiple times and there's this little path here that is being defined consisting out of waypoint 1 till 4. And what will happen is that this, for each spawn vehicle that is being dynamically spawned, the route that will be followed by each vehicle will be randomized. Um, and there's a parameter that I've given that around each waypoint on the path of this group, in a parameter of 200 meters, there will be a random point chosen to which on each waypoint to which this vehicle will drive to. So as a result you will see each vehicle that is being spawned has a randomized route between each waypoint 200 meters parameter, parameter. And at the end they will all come together at waypoint 4. So that, remember you have four waypoints here. Okay? So when we look at the test mission which is stored in spawning SPA 15 ground operations randomized route. You find the spawn scheduled, so every five seconds a group will be spawned. There is a limit of 10 uh, groups that will be spawned maximum. But now I added this little API here, which is called init randomized route. And this API takes a couple of parameters. The most important is the, po the spawn start point, which is basically from the first point, which is the start, the point where the group will be spawned. I'm, I'm indicating using this parameter here, one, I'm indicating that I want to start the randomization, not from the first point, because then the value would be zero, but the, the real first waypoint to where that uh, spawn group is driving to. And the second parameter is starting from the last point minus the amount of the value that I'm providing here to where the randomization will happen. And the third parameter is 200 meters. Okay, so this is specified in meters, a number that provides the radius around each waypoint to where to which a randomization will happen. So what I'm specifying here in a nutshell is route for each spawn vehicle being spawned, route, uh, randomize the route starting from waypoint 1 till waypoint 3 because there were four waypoints minus 1, so waypoint 3, randomize the route with a for each waypoint define a radius of 200 meters around that point and then find a random point in there. Now let's look how this is running in, in the mission. Here I am, ready to do the test. Watch and enjoy. I'm speeding up the, the time a bit. So now you can see these vehicles, they are being spawned, but you see them driving at different directions now. They are, at each waypoint, they are driving at a random point of a 200 meter perimeter. And also notice there are only 10 vehicle spawn as defined by the limit. So what you can do with this little function here is you can create uh, very easily now uh, ground forces that are being spawned and they will follow a dynamic route. So the player will not really understand, will not know exactly from where these vehicles are coming. This is the power of this function. 